The secret to bigger profits, how a business plan can make your business thrive. Follow my video and I'll explain more. If you haven't yet, click the bell and subscribe to be notified every time we produce our best pieces of content. A lot of us as business owners want to make more profits. Now, one of the key tools that you can have that you implement is a business plan. A business plan will help give you guidance and direction that should help your business thrive, or at least get you focused. Follow my video and I'll explain what's in a business plan and why they are important to a business like yours. A business plan. Number one, they don't need to be complicated, but it needs to have a clear vision and a clear path of exactly where you want to get within your business, the profits that you want to earn and the value that you are going to create. A business plan is for used for one, getting absolute clarity and direction within your business, but it's not to then sit there in a file or in a drawer or in a Dropbox folder, never to be looked at again. It's something to be referred at every time throughout the year. So once you set your plan at the beginning, you then want to keep an eye on every bit of results that you're getting, that you are getting closer to that plan. So your business plan, yes, it's not gonna be perfect. Yes, there are gonna be difference. It's gonna have battle scars, but it's gonna make sure that you keep in line with your vision so you are getting to what you define as success. Okay, Michael, I've only got a small business. Why do I need a business plan? It's all in my head. It may be. But when we're in different moods, when we're running a business, we can go up, we can go down. You may slightly forget what your goals are, so you may just bumble along. You may be putting out constant fires and then forget the great goals that you're looking for because you're bogged down in rubbish. So the moment you put your business plan on paper, it is a commitment. And there's nothing better as a business owner than one that is committed. It will also help you to develop and discuss with your team or maybe even financial introducers or other shareholders. But let me explain more. With your management information that you'll get running your business, you'll be looking at certain financial and non-financial key performance indicators, which are results. Now, what you need to make sure um, with these results, that they are in line with your business plan. So some of your business plans should include key targets of what you're looking to achieve. The easy ones are what level of turnover you aspire to in your business, what level of gross margin are you achieving, and what level of net margin you're achieving as well as cash flow and balance sheet ratios that make sure that you've got great balance sheet discipline and your business is strong. Now, yes, I know most businesses have a KPI that's really important and normally that's a non-financial number. So when you put all of these together, are your results suggesting you are getting closer towards your business plan or are you going adrift? So best time is to review this is either monthly or quarterly. So how much are you in line with your, with your goals and how much are your results getting you closer to where you wanna be? Massively important. One of the key things to do in your business is a financial forecast. So have you currently got a forecast within your business to support it by cash flow? A business plan of basics will help you in building one of these cash flow forecasts. Because when you're running a business, yes, you wanna be profitable, but also you wanna make sure that you don't run out of cash because that could stop you in your tracks. Now, if you have multiple owners and shareholders, this gives you an opportunity to align uh, your goals together. Now, yes, everyone wants to make money, but people will have different things that will get them more excited than others. So if you've got multiple people running a business with multiple owners or multiple directors, having a business plan aligns you. There's nothing better with a team than when they're aligned because they're working together, they're kicking it, and they're doing some really great stuff rather than going loads of random different directions. So aligning your directors can be massive in giving you more effectiveness, allowing you to grow your business. A business plan can help establish a robust accounting system. Yes, I know this can be a bit boring, but at the end of the day, your accounting system is the results board for your business. You wanna make sure it's robust enough so you can report, it's getting great data, so you get the best, but also true results that allow you to make decisions on your business. And then you can see how aligned you are with your budget to the actuals. And if you need to make changes, you can make them, but they'll be accurate. With any business, there's key challenges that can affect you. And also competition, it could also be technology. So in your business plan, you should have a clear idea about what the threats within your business, but not just the threats, also the opportunities. 
So while you're preparing and you're defending yourself against attack, you're also on the front foot where you're looking at opportunities. There may be new sectors within your market. There are massive opportunities for big growth areas. So within your business plan, are you looking at key opportunities as well as threats? Because that way you're taking a longer term view, which should allow your business to be established, build more value for longer. Your business plan should also set timeframes for achieving goals. Now I know some of the big ones that you'll shoot for that you want X amount of value here, they can be a bit broader. But for your shorter term goals, you need timeframes attached to them. So if, if your revenue growth is to grow by 20% per year and your profit to grow by 20% per year, you've got a fixed date. So with the goals that you're aiming for, they also need a time frame attached to them. Otherwise you could be shooting too low. So make sure that a lot of your key goals have time frames attached to them so they've got a physical end date. When you've got a long-term strategy, you'll also need what extra resources do you need to bring on board? Could this be more technology? Could this be more team? Could it be outside of consultants and or training? So what do you need within your business that you don't currently have that will help you achieve your goals? This will be something that is really key to put into your business plan because you then can budget the time to be able to do it and also budget the resources so you can bring it in that will allow your business to succeed. A business plan also helps you to uh, communicate with your team. Now, I'm a massive fan of Patrick Lencioni and his book, Five Dysfunctions of a Team, was revolutionary to me. So if you're sharing your business plan with your team and you can take out some of the key numbers and a lot of business owners do, that is an element of vulnerability. And vulnerability on his level one builds trust. So sharing your business plan with your team will help you build trust with your team but also it will allow them also to feel a part of it. And at the end of the day, who doesn't want to feel like part of a team? It motivates you, it gets you more excited, and it allows the team members to feel like they are all together. So I suggest a business plan is great to share with your team members because it allows interaction. When's the best time to complete these, Michael? Anytime. If, you're part, if you haven't done one, let it go and, and you can start now. They take, some, they take some fairly detailed planning, but if you just start now, it's better than not starting at all. And if your year end is six months away, that'll be another six months still you haven't done one. So my suggestion is, if you haven't got one, start now. And if you have got one, it could be do with improving, just put the time aside, allow yourself to improve your plan and allow yourself to grow with it. So I hope you found this video of interest. But if you've got any questions that I can help with, click on my calendar link below. This will allow you to book a 30 minute discovery call with me. I'll take on board any questions you have, but I promise there'll be no pushy sales pitch. If you're currently a business owner and you're looking to grow and increase value, check out our webinars. We've got live training specifically on this areas that's here to help business owners like you. So click the link below and see if one of these webinars can benefit you today.